you're asking yourself, what the heck is he doing? I got an old t-shirt. I got an extension handle for a paint roller. And I'm out here in the woods dragging this thing around. I'll tell you what I'm up to. I'm trying to catch some ticks. Not everybody goes into the woods trying to catch ticks. Well, that's what I'm trying to do because I got an idea for a video. Let me show you what I'm doing. As you know, springtime's coming up, spring gobbler's coming up, fishing season's coming up, hiking, anything outdoors is coming up. Um, recently, in the last few years, ticks have become a big, big problem. Now, this is what a lot of people use. So, what I've been doing recently is I've been making my own stuff. I go to Tractor Supply, I get this Permethrin 10, I think I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, I get it, I'm trying to think I paid maybe 8 bucks for this bottle. It's a concentrate, and what I do is I mix it with water. So I buy these water bottles, you can get them at Walmart, and on the side they have the ounces. This makes it a lot easier, it tells you how many ounces it is. So in this bottle I have 18 ounces of water, and I'm going to add one ounce of the permethrin. So we got the water already in the bottle. We just have to mix it up. And it's pretty simple to do. Just crack the lid, you squeeze, you can see it fills up. There's a half ounce hash mark and a one ounce hash mark. So that's the one ounce right there. So I pour it in and I shake it up. Now what I want to, I guess you would call it a disclaimer, is if you're uncomfortable doing this, then just go to Walmart or some other sporting goods store and get the Sawyers if you're a little bit unsure. So I shake it up, it turns a milky white color. You want to spray it and you want to soak a new bottle here. Well, that's great. There we go. You want to make whatever article of clothing you're spraying down, you want to make it wet with this stuff. And you want to let it dry. So I'm going to spray it down really good. I think that's pretty, pretty wet. As you can see, it says home brew. All right, so here we are. I sprayed down the sock. That was 10 days ago. Now what I did is I left it set outside. It had snow on it, rain on it. It was actually under a roof, but it did get damp. And they would dry off in the sun, and I thought maybe that would simulate, you know, being in the woods and the conditions in the woods. Also, I put it through the washer and dryer two times. Now, I've read about this mixture. People have said that, you know, it's good for four or five washes. Well, I've only washed it twice. And I got a tick. I was only able to get one tick. So I want to do this experiment. And I'm not sure, you know, how well this is going to go. Just something that I've been curious about for a while. Like, how good is that spray? You know, does it last through washings? How good is it? So I'm kind of thinking what I want to do is I want to put the tick on just a regular sock that's never been sprayed or anything. I got a different camera here. We'll get some pictures of the tick just kind of crawling around to just show its reaction just being on clothing. Then we're going to put it onto the sock that's, in, that's been sprayed and we're going to see if the tick has a different reaction to see does it die, does it, you know, does it try to get off of it, like how does it react. So that's what we're going to do here. Kind of curious what's going to happen. So I got Q-tip here. We're going to get our little buddy out. And we're going to put him on the sock. Not really doing anything. Just kind of just kind of sat in there. So let me get a close up of him.
He's alive. He just uh, basically not doing anything. Just sitting there. Let me see if we lift this up if he'll fall off. Yeah, he's, he's clinging to it. Alright. So we see he really has no reaction. He's not doing anything. So now let's put him on the the one that's been sprayed. Let's see what happens here. He's on there. Alright, I just had the camera off for a minute and he livened up a little bit. Now he's starting to crawl. Let me show you what he's doing here. He's starting to crawl around. Now one thing I noticed last year hunting, I sprayed some of this stuff on my pants and I happened to look down and I saw a tick on my pants and boy that thing was moving around real lively. Almost like it was on, as if it was on something that was hot, you know, getting burnt or something. Just a whole different reaction than I normally see with a tick. Now, he, he's starting to move around more. So I'm kind of wondering if maybe that stuff is starting to affect him a little bit. Because he really has livened up. Really, uh, I'm seeing a reaction I haven't, you know, he hasn't had in a while. I have to say I do hate these things. Hate them, hate them, hate them. Definitely livened up since he's been on this sock. He looks like he's like he's trying to get somewhere he wants off of there or something. He doesn't it looks like he's just scrambling to get away or something. He just doesn't know. He's going to get, that's the regular sock there. That's the regular sock he's on. Let's see if he goes back onto, uh, he's, he's going to avoid it. Put him back on there. He's not happy being on her. I can tell you that. I got an idea if I pick this sock up, he's just going to fall off of it. He wants off of it. I've seen that reaction on my pants, but they were freshly sprayed the night before. But I did notice that they didn't they wouldn't stay there long. They would actually try to get off. They would scramble around, similar to what this guy's doing, but they were a little, reacting a little faster. It almost looks like it's burning his feet. You can see him like lifting his, I don't know if that's how they normally crawl, but it's like he's lifting his legs like he doesn't want to, doesn't want to touch the sock. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is put him back on the other sock and see if his reaction changes. His reaction is the same as when he was on the, the other sock. Like he just walking around. Let's see if he avoids this sock here. Kind of overlapped here a little bit. Will he crawl onto it? Let's see. Yes, he did. No. Uh, See what he did? He turned around. He did not want on that other sock. So let's, maybe he's going to try it again. Let's watch. Does he avoid it? No. See what he's doing? He's, uh, he could have climbed on there easily, 
he just turned around. He did not want on there. Let's push him back over. Alright. See what he does again. Nope, changed his mind again. He does not want on that sock with the spray. See what he does here. Nope, he is not. He doesn't want on there. He's kind of freaking out a little bit now. There's one thing I want to say about this uh, spray. This stuff is very toxic to cats. I have a pet cat. He is my buddy. I love that guy. But uh, I would never want anything to happen to him. So if you have cats, you want to be very careful working with that permethrin. Very toxic. So I'm going to hold it up here. Let me see if he gets off of it. Does he let himself fall? Does he stay on? He just he fell down here. He actually it's like he let go, like he wanted off. He, he did get off of it. We want him to stay there. We're going to... I mean, it's been several minutes. He's still climbing around and stuff. But he, he does seem to react like he wants to avoid the sock that's been sprayed. I think the best way to do this experiment is to have several ticks. You know, instead of just using the same tick, have several ticks on each piece of clothing and observe and see what differences we see in the reaction. So we may have to do a part two to this video as soon as I collect a few more ticks. I know this video is kind of dragging out, it's getting kind of boring, but in several minutes but this is just something I've been curious about for quite a while like how well does that spray work especially after it's been through the washing machine he's kind of just kind of like if you look at his reaction he looks like he's like he's trying to get somewhere he wants off there or something it doesn't it looks like he's just scrambling to get away or something It almost looks like it's burning his feet. You can see him like lifting his, I don't know if that's how they normally crawl, but it's like he's lifting his legs like he doesn't want to, doesn't want to touch the sock. So apparently it seems to affect them in some way. I was hoping to see him roll over and just kind of die, but that hasn't happened. We've been here for probably a good six, seven minutes. He's still climbing around, but it does look like they would get on your clothing that they would try to get off as soon as they could oh well, there he goes I woke him up but not the reaction I wanted to see he's not he doesn't look very healthy I will say that all right it's been a good 20 minutes we're gonna uh, give him a good dose I just put a little bit of this on the sock Alright, so I put some on the Q-tip. He's actually in some of it where it's still wet. Not much of a reaction. He won't even hold on to it. There he is. I can definitely say that they don't like this stuff. So I would think the best bet would be if you spray your clothing, maybe the day before let it dry I think you'd have the better you know reaction like I said this stuff has been outside for 10 days rained on snowed on out in the wind out in the weather 
it was put through the washing machine and the dryer two times and uh, it does look like the tick tries to avoid it. I just expected the tick to curl up and die instantly. I guess that's what I expected. Alright guys, we're here messing around with this thing. It's been at least a half hour. He's not looking too lively. Alright, it's been a few minutes. He does not look too healthy. I think he may be dead. But just to make sure we'll do it the right way. This is the way you get rid of a tick. Alright guys, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Wasn't as good as I uh, anticipated it would be. But maybe we'll try this again in a part two. We'll collect some more ticks. We'll see how that goes. And uh, maybe we'll have a different uh, outcome. Alright, thanks guys. Thanks for watching.